Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Alright, so I stepped away from my crochet for a bit of the day. Um, hopefully my last video wasn't too chaotic. Um, it felt really chaotic to me. I had a lot of interruptions, messages coming through. I don't normally enjoy that. I prefer my videos to be somewhat just one-on-one -on -one because this is my enjoyment, not my whole family. Don't get me wrong, I love my family but I am always, always on top of their stuff. All right, put some scraps in there. So I think today's a good day to just sit, do some crochet and hang out. Hi. So, I have come to terms with having to make this bigger, which is fine. After I'm done making this video, I'm probably going to do like one row of this. Then I'm going to probably work on getting this video edited up. And then I'm going to start looking at what I need for my bags. Because, of course, we are getting to that point. I think tomorrow I'm probably going to start bringing out my decorations, which will be a whole lot of stuff to show. I have some really cool stuff, like these uh, haunted houses that my mom made me a couple years ago out of plastic canvas. And they are so cool. They're really the neatest thing. I really like them. My lip's still sore. I can't believe how bad a tooth through the lip can get. But I have doing salt rinses and brushing my teeth often and just basically trying to keep my mouth clean. It just feels like a bruised mess and keep having to drink lots of water and try to keep it moist because of course, my luck, it touches my big tooth when I'm sleeping. So that is causing it a little extra irritation, which is not fun. There we go. It's a good orange. So I'm going to do orange on this row. I think my next row is going to be this fun tealy green. It's the most wild color I have in there. Possibly this one. Or this one. I have a feeling I might have just enough of that one to make it through. I have two of these oranges in particular. Which is fine. They were just a scrappy orange. And yeah, so I'm just going to go around it a few more times. Pulled out my daughter's shrug. I made her last year that was slightly too big. It fits her just fine, so she'll be able to wear that to school. Made that one out of Red Heart Super Saver. Super Stripes, sorry. And that was the retro. And my luck, I needed two to make it for her and we bought it for like seven bucks and then the next one I had to pay quite a bit because for some reason they just were not available anywhere. So we did that and paid for that and made that and it's really cute. It's got a really fun retro vintage button of a ladybug. Cartoony. I don't think it, no, it's in the living room, so I'm not going to go get that right now. It's a pain. Everybody's sleeping right now, so this is my time. And I am not going to take the chance of waking anybody up, so we're going to be quiet. We're going to crochet. We're going to smile a lot. Just finished, what book was that? It's by the same author that did the My Best Friend's Possession. The movie was okay. The book was fun. A lot of fun. I thought it was a lady for some reason that wrote it, but no, a guy named Grady. Harrelson, I want to say. Harrelson Bing. I'd have to look it up. This one was The Southern Lady's Guide to Vampire Slaying. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. 
I would say the character, the vampire in general, wasn't necessarily a vampire vampire in a traditional sense, but maybe more of a traditional sense. And by traditional sense, I mean pre Bram Stoker. It wasn't really. There's like this appendage that came out. Oh, hey! Came out of his throat, and it looked kind of like insecty. And he just the character itself described it as basically dialysis to stay alive, not really necessarily ingesting the blood, but running his blood through his victims as if they were a dialysis machine. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Got that finished, and hopefully the three people that have been waiting for it will be happier because they're that much closer to it. I have the handyman something or other. Um, where's my tablet? It's an eight-hour audio book this time, so it'll be a lot easier for me. Everyone, it's an actual book book. It's a bit of a struggle for me to put down my, my crochet. I really hate putting it down. So I'm learning how to read and crochet at the same time. So I'm picking out some pattern to have on the go that I can read while I do. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. My tags. The Handyman Method. And I have about five people waiting for it. This is the Libby. I think it's downloading it because I haven't had my tablet on for two weeks or so. I haven't had a good enough one to... Okay, let's get that. Thanks. I just wanted to see. Yeah. So, the handyman's method. Don't mind my dusty screen. Like I said, it hasn't been on for a few weeks. And I'm just letting everything load up on it because it's downloading the book right now. Anyways. As I've said before, and I will never stop touting it and spouting off about it. Libby is a great one to go with if you are into basically entertainment. One of the ones I do really like that will really tickle us crochet people. Magazines. They give you access to new magazines. So say you want a crochet world or something like that. I've had that offered to me more than once and that's really awesome. I'm not sure how long because... I've never actually taken one out. It's probably about the same. Usually about four weeks or so. But yeah. Basically as long as you have a library card. It is applicable. And it's really cool that way. There we go. So it ties in with your library card. Sorry I'm a big library geek. Um, I was the weirdest teenager. I used to occasionally skip school, and when I'd skip school, I would walk down to the library and read in the library. Um, that was the place I liked to go. That's my happy place. One of them, anyways. I just really like to be surrounded by that many books. So, I mean, like, I can go sit at the library while the kids are looking. I'll go crochet or something. And usually, I'm actively helping them look for books. I help my daughter a lot. She's just getting into books and being that I've read for so long and I have a pretty good idea of all the different authors that are out there. Well, not all. I'm not going to say that. We'll take that backwards. I have a pretty good idea of what kind of books go over well. This last time we went, she didn't get to go because she was at school, but she says everything I picked is something she was interested in. So the seven books I got her are all winners and she's enjoying them it's okay if she doesn't I told her that too like it's okay give them a chance and if you don't like them that is okay too and gives me an idea of what else to help you find if she likes the graphic novels sometimes like I don't mean like spider-man and things like that I'm talking like hello kitty pokemon there's some really cute ones uh recently they've redone the original Babysitter's Club as a graphic novel, and it is really cute. The art's really cute. I've seen some people say it really come down on it. I was very curious, so I found them, and I started skimming through it. I'm like, this is actually just like the original Babysitter Clubs, which were super delightful. And 
and uh, yeah, I think they're fun. If she doesn't like them, I'm okay with that, but yeah, she might. She might also be a little young for them. She's seven after all. Anyway, super pumped about getting this done. I'm trying to keep my motivation up. I'm not going to give up because this is a nice pattern to work on. It's just a simple granny stitch. And I'm really enjoying the granny stitch. I hear some people saying they don't really like it, but I've seen some really fun ones like... These two bags that I made here. This one is a tulip. Okay. And this one's a daisy. They're both considered granny squares. So granny squares are really becoming kind of edgier. I'm really loving the skull pants that I keep seeing. And I may have to actually look into something like that for myself down somewhere down the road. I'm not saying right now because we're getting into that season. But I think they would make excellent lounging pants. And I could wear, I could either align them or I could leave them as is and just wear shorts or other leggings under them and just have a fun look. I don't know. I'm kind of into it. I also like the idea of maybe a messy pullover using the skull ones. Quite possibly. I don't know. Feeling a little self-conscious about this thing on my lip. And yes, it is a cut. It is very red. It is very mean. And it is, it is healing. Uh, I don't think it's infected. It was feeling pretty pretty bad like in through here uh but i have been keeping it super clean so it's it's come back down and i took a tylenol i've been very careful not how i'm eating and what i'm eating like there was the offer of pineapple and i was like that's probably not going to be something i want it's amazing how awful mouth pain can be i can't imagine a time before dentists and all the different options we have now what it was like when you had mouth pain. Because of course, your mouth is very, very important to your health. Same thing with your eyes. Your eyes really tell a lot. Where is this? We are, we are going to give you a slight little trim. A nice late night snack with my husband. Just him and I, we don't get to do anything like that. We don't make the time for that. So that was a really nice time watching a slasher movie with Jason. Well, he was watching the movie mostly and chatting a little while I was reading and chatting with him. So we were talking about the different actors. Both really enjoyed Supernatural. I've been putting off watching the last few seasons. I stopped watching because I was just like, I know it's coming to an end and I don't want it to end. It's just one of those things I do sometimes with certain things that I really enjoy. I just, I don't want to see them end. So I just avoid the end. <laughs> Other times I can't wait to see how that all plays out. I need to sit down and watch the second season of uh, Good Omens. Loved the first season. Terry Pratchett and... Um, oh, I'm going to kick myself later because he's a fantastic author. But the two authors that got together there... Uh, he does the graveyard books and I love those books. Really good. Oh, it's right there on the tip. I am so sorry. I am Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, both excellent authors, and they created this world, and I absolutely love it, and the actors, the story, the quirkiness of it has just totally won my heart, I'm going to have to sit down and watch that, I just know it's going to be one of those ones that I'm not going to want to walk away from, so I'm probably going to do it on a weekend or something when the kids are not really interested in me, but the youngest is really in a mommy mode in the last little bit, so I've been very careful when I'm watching. She is my shadow, as we're jokingly calling her my shadow. 
And I also want to watch the new season of Only Murders in the Building. I really enjoyed that up until this point. This season, I mean, Martin Short. Okay, hello. And then you have Steve Martin. Holy man. Those guys are some of my favorites. One of my most epic, epic movie things that I just cannot ever, ever stop loving is Steve Martin, the movie The Jerk, when he sees his name in the phone book. It is one of the greatest part, greatest movie scenes I've ever seen in my life. I will watch that scene over and over. I'm somebody just fantastic. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh man, that movie has so many good parts. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in ages. I used to have it on VHS years ago before before we had the kids when we were first on our own and we were using um, a little TV from the 80s with the flippy. I still have the VCR, but I don't have some of my movies. Uh, my son actually came across one of my VHSs in a box he had upstairs. Halloween too, and he brought it to me, so it's sitting just behind me over here. <laughs> I'm just kind of laughing because I have it on DVD now too. Yeah, um, we have the original Ninja Turtles. Um, we have that on DVD as well. Uh, we stopped on some things at DVDs. Uh, a few things we've gotten in Blu-ray, but I mean, super disappointing. You can play DVDs on your. DVD drives that you can put in your computer because I have a DVD drive in there. But if I want to play my Blu-rays, I need a special program that costs me money per year and I'm just not into paying it because I don't watch enough discs to make it worth it. So that's really disappointing. I'll just stick with my DVDs because the DVDs play just fine. I don't understand that at all. And then we ran into the problem, like we bought um, here's uh, quite a few years ago, but it's just the most ridiculous thing. We bought Horton Hears a Who on Blu-ray, and it won't play in most of our players. It just says it is not allowed to play, and we don't understand that at all. Like we put it in our PlayStation, and it won't play, but you put it in this other player, and it does play, and this other player won't play, and it's like, okay, we've tried everything. Like we're not. We are quite tech savvy, and I'm really good at Googling if I can't figure something out. I have fixed a few people's things where they've done something to it, and it just doesn't work out. And i just like, okay, well, you could do this yourself and just Google it and follow the steps. But, hey, if you're going to pay me a few bucks to get this for you, I'll do it. And I'll do it just fine. But it's just kind of weird that you need that. Nah. But I mean, to be fair, some people find things like that very confusing, and other people just don't, and that's totally fine. And I feel like I'm really flying with this color, even though I keep finding pieces, and that's perfectly fine with me because it is sort of. This one I made particularly out of a lot of the scraps that have been accumulating. And I mean, not all these scraps are mine. She gave me a lot of these scraps, and a lot of these just came from this and that, this and that. Um, that is super okay. Like, I'm super stoked on it. Uh, some of these things I just want to see made into something. Laying it on the floor and then looking back on it when I was editing my video earlier today because my video editing had to be done so late. And again, I apologize up and down for anybody that was looking for me. Even if you aren't, I'm still very sorry that I wasn't out on time. I don't like being inconsistent. I am usually on time, but things are out of my control. And my kids come first. This is fun for me. This is not, I don't get paid for this. I'm not monetized. I'm a tiny little channel. And I'm just putting it out there that I like to crochet and I like to talk while I crochet sometimes and uh, I guess I'm vlogging I guess because I'm looking at other yarn people and they're doing vlogtober and vlogtember and it just makes me laugh these funny names but yeah 
and I guess it's vlogging because I'm talking to you every day and giving you updates on this or just chit-chatting about whatever part crosses my bored, empty little mind. My mind is not empty. Please don't think that I think that. I really know, but there's way too much going on in there. I think way too much. Come on. I am considering grabbing some hooks I've seen on Timu. They're fully plastic. I don't have any plastic hooks except for my big fatties that I just got. I have these plastic hooks. Right? I have these much older aluminums. And then I've got my big daddies. Right? I have not done a project in these yet. I'm looking forward to it. They feel really nice. Good weight displacement on those ones for sure. But I always end up going back to these. I just love these ones now that I've got two sets of them. But mostly the ones from Hobie, they stop at six. They go from two to six, I believe. Yeah, six. Because looking for a seven. And I had realized I hadn't pulled a seven out of my other set. And on that note, it sounds like I'm being called to go sit down beside someone. Honey, I'll be right there. Thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box. And I'll see you again real soon.